Hi everyone! Thank you for joining me for this beauty review. I'm excited to be talking about the 24-piece shimmer eyeshadow palette by Coastal Scents. Uh, here's what it looks like on the inside. So, um, this palette is on sale right now at Coastal Scents for $13.17 as opposed to its retail price of $21.95. So if you want one, I'd hurry over to the website and get them before they're all gone. Um, I thought long and hard before buying this palette because, as most of you probably already know, Coastal Sense has like five or six eyeshadow palettes to choose from. I'll quickly talk about the other palettes and give you an idea of why I picked this one as opposed to the other ones. So, let's see. I liked the 78-piece makeup palette as well as the 56-piece um, blush and eyeshadow palette. I think that both the 78 and the 56 were well organized. They had, well, the 78-piece had blush and eyeliner slash highlighter colors as well as eyeshadow colors. Um, I thought the 78 piece was, first of all, it was a lot of colors, and the blushes were highly pigmented. Um, I'm not a big blush person because I think that my face is naturally flushed, so I don't like to have too much color on my face, and I know that these colors are rich, pigmented, and probably make me look something on the order of a clown, so the 78 and the 56, I mean, they're great palettes and they do a great job separating the colors for you so that you don't have to do too much work when you're piecing up you know eye makeup with blush but for, my, for me it was just the blush was too much and it was too many colors so um, that left me with the 88 piece eyeshadow palette in which there's the regular 88 piece eyeshadow palette and the ultra shimmer 88 eyeshadow palette. And I probably would have picked the Ultra Shimmer just because I like to have shimmer on my eyes. However, 88 colors is too many for me, to say the least. Um, I know some people like to have the option of, you know, so many different shades of blue or purple or black or brown. But I love mixing colors, and just having all the colors mixed out for me kind of takes some of that challenge and excitement away. <laughs> so, and plus the 88 colors are all pretty small from what I hear. I think they're the size of a dime, each of the little pans, and that's not very big if you think about it. And um, I guess I prefer to work with larger pans. So. I, I do think it's a great palette, and if you're interested in having that many choices, it's certainly a great buy. So that left me with the 24-piece shimmer eyeshadow palette and the 28-piece eyesh eyeshadow neutral palette. Um, the neutral one certainly looks good, but it doesn't have a mirror, <laughs> which kind of turned me off a little bit. and. I don't exactly need 28 brown colors. At long last, I settled on the 24-piece shimmer eyeshadow palette. Um, it's got a mirror right here. So you can just travel with this and just open it up and touch up your makeup, touch up your eyeshadow. It's got the two sponge applicators on the sides. And I don't, I mean, I'm not in love with these, but they're certainly very convenient if you're on the go. And girls have said that once you take these off, you can't put it back on. It's not true. You can, it just doesn't go back on the way it used to. <laughs> so what I did is, I mean, I've used, I mean, you can see that I've used these. And um, it comes off pretty easily. And if you want to put it back on, you gotta 
just it doesn't you have to be patient obviously um, just press it it doesn't snap back into place the way it used to but I mean it's on there you can tape it down if you are afraid that it's going to fall out during travel but if it's a short trip like if I just stick it in my purse and just go somewhere with it it's, it's going to be just fine so um, but I don't really like these again they're not exactly the best um, for applying eyeshadow I prefer the um, this is a low Cornell It's basically a low Cornell paintbrush that I got at Michael's, and it's really soft. So this is most of the time what I use for applying eyeshadow, and it works pretty well for me. And I think if sometimes I, I stick it in the palette, and it stays. Although when I open it, it, it just falls out like that. So. As far as the colors go. It definitely does not have as many colors as, say, the 88 piece or the um, 78 piece or whatever. But I like it because it, it has the range of colors that I like. I love, you know, this blue and aquamarine and greens. I love the purple selection up here. It doesn't have, like, black or, like, dark brown or it doesn't have those dark colors. But I don't really use those colors very much anyways, so this palette for me is more than enough. Um, it does come with this plastic um, thing that I took out earlier because it reflects light. But the plastic, it protects the colors from, from the lid and really good for when you're traveling. A little size comparison for you guys. Um, Here's a quarter, and so the, these pans are pretty big, so I don't want to get my pans dirty, but okay. So each of these pans is bigger than a quarter. These are, I think, an inch and an eighth in diameter, these pans, I believe. So it's bigger than a quarter. I'll probably say they're the size of a, of a silver dollar, probably as opposed to the 88 piece um, eyeshadow palette, which I heard is the size of a dime. So, I mean, you can compare, like, how big that would be compared to these pans. I like to work with these big pans. And they're just, they're just easier to get, get color onto a brush and easier to clean up afterwards. So, it's got a nice sparkly black case. Uh, it comes in a box like this. It's like just a paper box, cardboard box. Um, if you're traveling with it, it certainly would protect the palette. If you're on a plane or a long trip or something, you want to protect it. This certainly, I mean, I'm saving the box for that reason. Um, it's got the ingredients on this side. And the ingredients are, well, I'll just read off some of them. Talc, mica, mineral oil, titanium dioxide, magnesium stearate, um, methylparaben, polyparaben, BHT. So basically it's not exactly organic or natural or really any of that. But I don't really wear eyeshadow every single day, so I'm not really anal about it. So. But the colors are really pretty, and it's really quite shimmery. I really like this palette, and I do recommend it. And because it's on sale right now, I think it's a really good deal. And I'm not sure if it's going to be discontinued. Um, I hope they don't discontinue it, but if they do, all the more reason to get it before it, it gets discontinued, right? So I definitely recommend this palette as well as other Coastal Sense uh, eyeshadow palettes. But which one that you should get, it really depends on your needs and what colors you already have in your makeup collection and where you want to take your, you know, your passion for makeup. So if you have questions or comments, feel free to message me or comment me. Thank you for watching.